Hello and welcome to today's show. Today I'm going to be fairly quick. I'm changing out this 10 inch round handguard. Works very well. Uh, this inside diameter in here is one and three quarters, actually just a few thousands over one and three quarter, so that when I mount it on a firearm, a different firearm, I can then change out, put the uh, 15 on it. It's a little bit longer, maintains that same diameter. Uh, when putting back on this 300 blackout, I went uh, 12 inch. I had one of these uh, in a box, so I just going to use it to replace the 10 inch round. Not a big deal. We're just changing it out. I have already aligned the barrel nut. I have torqued it down for anybody who's anal retentive about that. It's actually set at 40 foot pounds. Now, what this is about is I'm not a big fan of dimpled barrels. They're kind of easy to do the lineup, but if you pay attention, you can do your own lineup. This has already been removed, obviously, because I've already put the barrel nut on. But what I'll do is right here, as you can see, and this is a little trick. If you, it's too late if you've already taken one off. But before you take one off, take you a piece of tape and make you two little pointers to help line up. When I put them on initially, I go with the port on the top of the barrel, point my arrow at the port, and then try to center it left and right with a gas block. That's very functional. It's a little bit of a painstaking thing. That's why some people prefer dimples. The thing with a dimple is, if my unit here was a little bit over gassed, I can loosen this up if it's not dimpled and pull my gas block forward, causing a misalignment between the hole, the gas port, and the hole in the gas block. You can actually cheat that off a little bit. Uh, it's cheaper than buying a adjustable gas block, which will work, but that's something you can do. If it's dimpled, it's going to want to climb back in that same hole. But for those of you who like a dimple barrel, uh, you can just take one of these. I'm sure everybody who's been playing with um, in sports like this will have at least one of these gas blocks that you'll probably never use again. So this one happens to be a fairly uh, high profile, and all I do is I go through the original hole that's in this because when they when they drill down through to to get to it they can drill obviously they can drill, drill that number 15 there from the outside when they come to drill the inside of the port to make it they have to go in through the bottom so there's already a hole there you just simply use a drill bit guide through there and I come out the other side and uh, the purpose of that is it just gives me a little bit more vertical surface area to keep the drill bit from wobbling and flopping then you just have a sharp uh, sharp or pointed thumb screw i use actually here these are socket heads which function very much like a thumb screw and we can put that on to show you how it lines up this block this gas block actually was lined pretty darn well i might say doing it the other way with a round non-dimpled barrel if i can pull that off what you would simply do is put this over since i've got scar marks make sure i got that on there i can i can see that right there is where the old screw was. Now if I turn this little one on the bottom, I can gently kind of finger tighten it in the port. And then from there you just would tighten down your four thumb screws, which in these case are socket head screws. But they do the same thing. And then you can come in from above and put a dimple in it, if that's what you want to do. So that's pretty well much it. Um, we're just going to take this off, put it back together, and put the NSR back on, um, or on for the first time. I do like to use little nylon washers to keep from scarring up, you know, the outside, but there's, that's pretty well much it. Something you do if it bothers you, if not having a dimple barrel bothers you, uh, build a tool. Improvise. Adapt and overcome. Thank you for watching.